Hello guys and welcome back to Play the J. We're just about ready here to get started for round number two. So apologies for the delayed schedule here. Unfortunately, round one had to be remade and uh, we're just about ready to get stuck in for our first round on Miramar. So, looks like for our first round of Miramar, we are going to be going all the way from Torre Ahumada, all the way down towards the southwestern island. So, this is going to skew it a little slightly towards the northwestern part of the map here, but should still be okay for most of these teams to try and go for whatever looting areas that they do tend to favor, as uh, the general strategy on Miramar is more pronounced than on Erangel that teams do want to try and get those early vehicles so they can still potentially go to Alcantara, Puta Paraiso, so on and so forth. Geek fan going to drop out nice and early going to Campo Militar and Torre Ahumada, some of their favorite spots. We're seeing Battle Arena elites going for Crater Fields. We saw them do this last week here. It did work out quite well for them. Um, and it looks like Face Gaming here going to be dropping very much amongst Vengeance right now. And looks like Stage Gaming going to be hanging around them pretty closely as well. Around the water treatment side, San Martin is looking crowded with Quacker going for the usual spot. But Flash Vision arguably can also stake their claim on this particular area. So anyways, I'm sure both of these teams are going to be well versed in looting up here. Uh, even if there is going to be uh, other teams present here, it is certainly large enough. But currently it looks like Quacker here going to be having Aplux going to be all the way up towards that northwestern side. So he's going to be a little bit separated. Flash Vision having a little bit more of a, a pairing going on here as they're looting up. And looks like the circle here going to be all the way towards this western side. So going to be a little bit awkward. Most of the teams here not inside the circle at the moment. Monte Nuevo, we're going to see Stadium Fighter here duking it out here with the ONE esports players here for the time being. Currently, ONE only has three players here. I think they didn't have a full roster, unfortunately. But looks like First Blood is going to be going uh, very much towards uh, Flash Vision's direction here as a nice headshot there from Mr. Pa with the revolver and uh, really going to try and finish him off. I don't think that the rest of Quacker is going to be able to get there. He's a little bit separated from the rest of them, but uh, they're going to know what's going to be up. Croft Barzum, Skyrex, and Forzen going to try and do what they can a little bit further south. And uh, they actually do have that uh, circle position a bit more than Flash Vision, but they're both on the edge of the circle here, so I wouldn't be surprised to see them withdraw a little bit early on. Red Sea is going to be going for their trademark uh, power grip, but Picado is going to be surprisingly empty here. And uh, looks like Chumacera here going to have Frostfire. So Frostfire had uh, a very good round number one. They did take that chicken dinner, so we'll see whether or not that they can... Um, Follow that one up here. Of course, they did take one chicken dinner last week as well, also in the first round. But uh, we'll see if they can get a bit more consistency on that and uh, get into those good placings here in the following rounds. And uh, now it looks like everyone else here still very much in their looting phase. Looks like Gang FTY actually going even further away from the circle. There's actually no one in Los Leones. Even the Coventure guys here, they do like to go around the northern side of Los Leones. They're already starting to make their way over here slowly towards the circle. And just the way that Miramar is, there's going to be always lots of different buildings that can offer many different uh types of loot here it's nicely scattered around the map so it does make it more viable to be able to loot up in these particular areas as um Erangel, usually you don't get um such uh, one-off buildings which uh usually has higher amounts of loot um but here the type of buildings that you find you find the occasional warehouses concrete buildings which does actually provide quite a lot but geek fam really going to be looting up heavily here in Campo Militar, but uh, looks like we're already having um, an early rotation from Nazi and Genius team as he is uh, moving through San Martin, but not really uh, having the occupants of San Martin too prepared for that one. And looks like Zach here gonna get on the board here as he's able to get the first kill on the board this round here for Face Gaming here. But he's under quite a bit of fire. Alan Lembu here going to be popping up over the top here. Trying to bench Mox right there. And looks like Zach here going to get taken out there. Not much cover, unfortunately. And uh, looks like the three remaining players here of Vengeance going to be swarming over that. Uh, nice little bit of loot that they're going to be getting from that. The rest of face gaming here going to be even further away. Uh, but they are relatively con um, condensed 
for the time being. But now we're already seeing that Genius Team and some of the others here are already starting to make their way into the center of the circle. Stadium Fighter um, have managed to stake their claim on Monte Nuevo. ONE Esport here moving a little bit further north here. Physics Esport is going to be in a very good position here with El Pozo as uh, currently there's really no teams around there and one of the heavier uh, places that you could potentially be looting at. Um, except for maybe uh, just only a couple other places here. But everyone's still very much in rotation for the time being. So guys, just an apology if uh, my voice is um, a little bit off or I'm not able to keep up with some of the action here. It's, I have a little bit of a sore throat. So uh, I'll just try and do the best I can, try and bring you all the action here and uh, see how it goes. But cut for the time being here, Minocopy Jap going to continue uh, looting up here just a, a little bit more here at uh, Cruise de Vale. They're going to probably have to make their moves a little bit sooner. Same with Gang FTY and Geek Fam. But probably Gang FTY and Geek Fam, given how far they are, they're probably going to be expecting to take a bit of blue zone damage here. As uh, I think we were talking in the previous round, that uh, definitely if you go for this type of strategy, you're going to have enough meds to, to sustain. And you're pretty much expecting to um, get into the circle a little bit late, but Miramar, just because of the size of it, the actual playable area compared to, say, Erangel, is just so much greater that there are so many other paths to actually make those rotations. So we're probably going to be seeing Gang Etui move along the south, Geek Fam going to move along the north. All these uh, coastal roads or roads along the edges here definitely going to benefit a lot of these teams. But now we can already see some teams here that do want to try and prioritize the circle position here already making their way in. Genius team going to be the first there apart from those that are already dropped here in the early stages of the game. Gold Army Factory going to be following in. Uh, Quacker and Flash Vision have kind of disengaged there. Quacker just going to take that one loss early on as Mr. Pa was able to get that nice headshot onto... Uh, uh, one of the players there, up looks uh, if not mistaken, yep. And uh, looks like Vengeance here actually on the move as well. They all have one vehicle. Currently, Batman going to be all by himself here. Have to see whether or not that he wants to take try and take the shots there. Looks as though that he's still going to try and move into a better position, but it looks like Vengeance here going to be getting away. So Vengeance did take second position in um, in the last round. So let's see how they can be doing here. As uh, currently, that is a very good finish for them. Um, Let's see, and definitely compared to, to last week, I think could have gone a, maybe a little bit better in terms of the results. But guys, if you are curious as to how it went down last week, do check out the, the videos on demand, which are currently up on my YouTube page. So do have a look at that. The link is included in the video description. I'll be posting up all my uh, VODs from all the scrimcasting and other content there. So just have a look at there if you are interested. Um, but yes, looking at how things are going here, everyone else is still very much in a rotating phase for the time being, whereas like maybe some of the others are actually still going to be looting up just a little bit more here. As Gold Army Factory actually stopping the power grid side here, then currently there is uh, the rest of Red Sea here all hanging out here for the time being. Haha, is going to land a shot or two there onto nine holy he's forced to back down just a little bit dream's gonna try and offer some support here and see whether they can actually get the heal off and maybe get back into their vehicle but uh i'm not sure which players that they saw they probably just saw one or two of the red sea players but they haven't started moving any further here just because they don't want to try and uh get surprised there and since they only have that one vehicle it's going to be very risky play there Oh, sorry, they have two vehicles, but uh, again, it's still, it's not a risk that people are usually wanting to take here. So they're actually moving down south here and not going to move uh, further in this direction on the western side, right through the shanty town, which currently they're occupying. But now we can already see Geek Fam on the move here. They're a little bit separated here for the time being. Muddy and Jang's going to be leading the way and looks like Paid actually knocking over Joker. Unfortunately, they're from the car. So he's going to have to make do for the time being as uh, going to just get the smoke there. As uh, I think we, we can see sometimes in these competitive games that things go horribly wrong there. But Battle Arena leads here, trying to put up some more fire at the rotation coming out from Geek Fam. As currently they're going to be much further away. Batman and Sophia going to continue moving out here for the time being. Now it looks like Gang FTY taking some blue damage here. They haven't actually started moving out just yet here, but we can already see the M0 inside the car already thinking about what's next here, but Stage Gaming is 
going to be putting pressure onto Minocopy Jump right now. Looks like Darkus had to be rest there as he got caught in rotation. Wilkes here trying to see whether or not he could put some more fire in that direction and uh, pick them off. All right, so yep, zone is going to be coming in, and uh, yeah, guys, if you are wondering, there is a delay here on the stream as uh, this wouldn't be a normal competitive game here if we didn't have uh, such things in place here. I hope you do understand. But now we're going to already see that uh, M4TV here. I'm not sure which which player, unless M4 is the name, uh, which I'm not familiar with, unfortunately. I do apologize if that's the case, but he's going to continue onwards here, leading the pack of Battle Arena Elites as they are moving to get inside the circle. But looks like Geek Fam here in trouble. They they have pressure coming in here from the rest of uh, ONE, but looks like there's a bit of a trade here. Jang's going down, but uh, so does Terrence at the moment, and Modi going to finish off the kill here. Jang's also going to get finish off himself. So now Geek Fan has to be a little bit careful here. They did have a little bit of separation going on there at the start. Looks like MMP is going to get uh, spotted out by Mahdi. He's going to try and get to a better vantage point that he can actually defend himself a little bit more while he waits for Savior and Kenny to try and come in and uh, get into that decent spot. But looks like Battle Arena Elite's actually going to be driving all the way around the side. MM Excuse me, MMP actually forced to back out just a little bit here. I think he doesn't want to face this head on as uh, currently Zobi also going to be hanging out a little bit further south. But now it looks like Face Gaming here moving in very late from Alcantara. Uh, I think they are willing to wait a little bit more, but looks like Mahdi here going to get surprised by Onigate. So Onigate picking up his first kill of the game. I think he does spot out Battle Arena Elites moving along the side here. So they're going to have to just be a little bit wary here. Circle going to be shifting uh, quite centrally here. Not going to be too bad for most of the teams. Currently, looks like our winners from round number one, Frostfire, going to be hanging out on the low ground in this compound. Now, they do have a lot of buildings here, but it is very uh, disadvantageous in terms of uh, trying to fight Lemon Gaming Gold. The only saving grace is that currently there's only going to be uh, Cerebix who's still up there putting pressure down onto them. But they're not in too much of a rush. They are quite relatively central inside the circle. Everyone's trying to move in. Savior actually taking quite a long route here to try and get in. I'm not sure if he got caught out in his vehicle, but Esco Rex going to get caught out on the side of the hill here by Sim, and that's going to be his first kill of the game. Now, it looks like Minicopy Jump is going to have to be a little bit wary of that. They do still have a, a couple players still on the hill, but um, they do actually have Savior Saviors inside the crater, so not that close here for the time being. The rest of uh, you know, Copy Jump, oh, there's uh, also going to be K-Bice moving through San Martin, but it looks like Stage Gaming here opting to make their way in further inside the circle. But now we have Red Sea here getting uh, a little bit of pressure here, um, but they're currently having a little bit of a 2-2 split here. Sepujer going to back out a little bit, not going to put any more shots here for the time being in this direction, but looks like with this 2-2 split that Red Sea has here, it's going to offer them a lot of protection for each other just and also get that coverage really able to stop a lot of teams here in rotation. Gaventure here moving in quite late as well. They're not inside the zone just yet, but taking some shots at all these teams in rotation. But definitely on this map, as we were talking about earlier, definitely going to be a lot more favorable in terms of teams being able to get inside the circle quite late as uh, let's see I think we got almost everyone here already uh, gang FTY moving in from the south side here after taking quite a bit of blue damage early on but now it looks like Sepuger here going to be solo player here right now for Lemon Gaming Gold he's going to be a little bit separated from the rest of his team but uh, I think that's not going to matter uh, too too much here as uh, currently this might just be acting as like a way to track the number of teams but he's just a little bit too far away I'm not sure how he will reconnect with the rest of his team a little bit later on but now Savior here uh, actually creeping up right behind uh, Mino Copy Jump as they're taking a lot of fire from Stage Gaming but Stage Gaming going to start shooting in his direction here but Savior going to take down Darkus and Rosalux D but Rosalux D jumping out of the vehicle there and Savior going to be able to pick up those two kills and uh, looks like only K-Bite's going to be left alive here for Minokopi Chap. 
but Savior could potentially get a few more meds. He should be able to survive. Darko's going to be bleeding out there. So Kill not going to go to Geefam. Geefam only has Kenny still alive here. Currently hiding out amongst the Stadium Fighter guys here in Monte Nuevo. But they are quite spread out themselves here. So they will be able to um, look around in the periphery here. But little do they know that Kenny is going to be residing here. But it could be that they actually did hear him. It's just that they can't pop out just yet here. But looks like Space Gaming here in that vehicle. Coming in very late from the circle. Gonna get caught out. Mune picking up a triple kill as he takes down the Face Gaming. And now it looks like they have four kills to their name. But they did lose Mox a little bit early on there. So they're gonna have that nice, uh, quite secluded position here in the northwestern side here. Savior. Uh, taking his time, but uh, the blue damage gonna start ramping up pretty soon here But he should have meds for days after taking out those two players there from Minokopi Jap Now looks like Gold Army Factory here starting to put pressure on towards the venture here coming in from the south side on top of the hill They're just gonna see whether or not they can make those connections Of course whether or not you peek too much here at these stages of the game definitely is gonna help to a certain extent But you just have to make sure that you don't take too many hits yourself Otherwise, you're just gonna be in such a bad position using up all your meds this and that and now it looks like here the circle going to be shifting down to the southwest and looks like battle arena elites going to have that very nice high ground position going for them for the time being and uh for the most part here i think we see that other teams here also starting to make their way in as well just given the drastic shift here most of the teams here are going to be in rotation here for the time being but uh, I think uh, Gang FTY, wow, they made their way all the way around the south side and managed to find quite a nice bit of real estate there. But now BAE here under pressure from Onigate and the rest of ONE Esports here. As uh, they're just trying to make do with the situation there. Now they did have this very good high ground and uh, Loki does have that protection there of the, the rocks and the compound that he's currently positioning himself in. And uh, should have a lot of vision. Frostfire moving into the zone here. And looks like uh, there's going to be the Lemon Gaming Gold guys stuck right between the 2-2 two -two split going on. Matt Drago here going to try and get away here with his uh, teammate Sarabix as uh, they're going to continue trying to escalate uh, up the side here. But Fibrin is moving up to the top of the hill right now. And he might be able to get some good shots onto Grizzom and uh, Revax there if he's going to be... Uh, lucky there, but for the most part here, he's uh, just going to boost up a little bit more here. I think he might be able to hear Grizzom starting to move around here as uh, he tries to get into a better position here. But looks like Chilrex for Adventure here going to take down Nine Holy there. See whether or not that he's going to be able to finish off the kill there. And looks like he's going to be taking out pretty much all of them. But uh, looks like this action starting to pop up all around here. Genius team here getting finished off by, um, or rather taking a lot of heavy losses there from Gang FTY. Gang FTY sees Battle Arena at least moving in here. Looks like Fiverr not able to come out on top in that battle here. Now Frostfire still with the four players left here. Drogo and Cerebex gonna be hiding out in the compound for the time being. Revax here gonna see whether or not he can get move around the side, get some good shots Onto Lemon Gaming Gold and try and finish them off. But currently, is still looking. Oh, nice angle there from Revax there. He's able to knock down Matt Drogo, but uh, there's still going to be Cerebex still up here for the time being. It looks like Stage Gaming here taking quite a lot of damage at the same time from. Uh, Cracker, um, or rather, they're dealing damage to each other in quite quite a bit here. And now look, looks like a Bunny Hop here trying to get some shots there. And he actually takes down Jay Z Jay Z with M249 and Flash Vision. Going to see whether or not they can put the, the finishing touches there onto Physics Gaming. But now others trying to move in. Stage Gaming just sandwiched all over the place here. And Haha -ha is going to be having a bit of a shooting gallery trying to take down Sin as well. Kids Young trying to follow up, but only has. A uh, uh, buggy which has uh, two tires burst out, I think, and they're gonna continue onwards and uh, try and get a better position. Quacker already vacating their own position after the blue zone, starting to encroach onto them. Battle Arena leads forced to be a little bit more condensed here for the time being with the threat of Gang FTY on that lower ground side. But now Bunny Hop trying to see whether or not he can put the finishing touches here and try and spam inside the smoke here. Not able to catch them out. Looks like the res has been successful there for Physrix Gaming. So they're going to keep going on here for the time being. But uh, now it looks like the blue zone is really going to be taking a, its toll. I'm not sure if these two teams here are going to be making out. Looks like Gang FTY going to be the big winners here. Uh, in terms of the central positioning here and it looks like Flash Vision here 
taking quite a few hits. Stage Gaming here under a lot of pressure here from Adventure. Uh, really trying to put the final touches onto them. Flash Vision all getting taken out there. I think they took were just way too much blue damage. And at phase four, you cannot afford to stay in there too long here. Otherwise, you're really going to be in trouble. But Savior here, really just still getting in there from the crater field here. Doing the best that he can. But now looks like Quacker here starting to move into Monte Nuevo. They do have Kenny, who's going to be a little bit further in front. He's still camping out in the building there. But looks like the rest of the stadium fighter here have managed to congregate around the high ground for the time being. Now, it looks like Stage Gaming here is starting to move past the purview of quite a few of these teams. Coventure included, but they have their own rotation set here before they're going to start focusing on all these other teams. But it looks like we have o &E here shooting at Physrix Esports and Onigate here going to back up a little bit here, get into a little bit more cover as uh, currently there's just maybe too many of them. They did crash into big, those big rocks, so that will offer them some means of safety for the time being. Now it looks like Smoke's going to come out from MMP here, see whether or not he can obscure the vision there from the, the Physrix Esports players here. And apparently Joku here trying to rotate through this zone here as well, and Dinosaur trying to put up some shots in that direction here. But looks like they're going to try and mobilize again here, but the car is on fire and I'm not sure they're going to be able to use that just yet. And luckily for them, they've been able to escape just in time here while everyone's starting to move in here. Joku here taking quite a bit of damage here, this time from Vengeance, and he just gets over the hill here. So he's lucky for that moment, brief moment there, but M0 from Gang FTY is in very close proximity here, so he might be able to catch him out. And uh, there's not going to be much that the Red Team player can do about this. He's still able to land a few shots there on M0. But he's going to get taken out as uh, Don Pablo is trying to follow in his footsteps here. But he's also attracting quite a bit of attention here and taking quite a few hits there. As, uh, they're all just trying to get inside. But Don Pablo gets taken out. And that's going to be it there for Red Sea. As um, now we're seeing Coventure here. After they rotated from that southeastern side here, they're actually moving onto the high ground here, which Battle Arena at least is just trying to desperately defend. They have so many teams around them here. They have Gang FTY right behind them. And now with Coventure starting to push up from this eastern side, it's not looking <coughs> too promising. It's, uh, it's just really going to be such a difficult proposition to try and deal with. But currently, Coventure taking their time. They know that they're not as under pressure. Now Kenny, the last player here for Geek Band, putting up some shots, takes out Croft, bars him. And uh, looks like Quacker here, going to be down a player. Savior also still alive here for Geek Fam as he's moved all the way to this end here. But looks like Genius Team here finally getting finished off there by ONE as they were moving in on that position for quite some time here. And now Neural Aini here for Stadium Fighter just hanging out here near the side of the road where currently there's still two stage gaming players left. And now she has level three gear here for days. But uh, not sure what that can be. What, I mean, of course it can help, but look at the position that Conventure has here. They're going to have so many opportunities to put the hurt on right now. Neural I need, is taking quite a few hits, and now blue damage is quite substantial here. As uh, now we're seeing Stage Gaming here getting eliminated. I need not able to get out herself, and the blue is really going to start taking its toll. But looks like the rest of uh, um, Stadium Fighters, sorry, I wasn't able to see that gets taken out. Um, by Frostfire, so looks like uh, we're down to 11 teams here at the 22 minute mark and let's see how this is going to be shaping up here. I think o &E Esports here has been spotted out there by Gaventure. They're starting to make their way up slowly up the hill here. Battle Arena Elites has withdrawn just a little bit here for the time being. But um, pressure coming back towards Frostfire as they start to uh, try and do what they can against the Gaventure guys here. Rain Zara taking a few hits here, but he's going to back out just a little bit here for the time being. As now Lo uh, M4 is getting caught out there by Dankirk. And he's going to claim that kill. Three kills here on the board for Gang FTY. They do have some good positions here. But currently split 2-1. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to maintain these positions. All these other teams here are probably going to start rushing in here. And uh, they're going to have to make a decision if they want to try and keep this up here. But Vengeance here are going to be happy in that northwestern side of the circle for the time being. Frostfire starting to make their way in. K-Bytes here are going to hang out in the shack for the time being. He does have the whole of Frostfire that he has to worry about. Currently all moving in from the side here. So it's looking a little bit dicey here and for the most part uh, these teams are really going to start getting very congested here on this eastern side but uh, they're going to have to make their moves pretty soon here. Blue zone is already on the move and two minutes 
till it finishes its closure. So there's really not a lot of time. Oh, and here, just in a very difficult spot here for the time being. Their vehicles also being disabled there by Chill Rex and the rest of Conventure. So now Battle Arena, at least also uh, fully aware of what's going on here. But K-Bite's not able to come out on top of that fight there. And Revax able to take him down. And it looks like Minakopi Jap not having the best of games in round number two here. Wow, in 11th position here. And it looks like the Kenny taking out all of the Oni... Onigate and the rest of Oni Esports here, so wow, good play coming out from him. And uh, sorry, missed it. Uh, but yeah, there's just action erupting everywhere here. Sophia and the rest of Battle Arena leads here. Very aware of the threat from Gaventure, all moving in from the high ground. But if the Gaventure guys here are able to get a pick here, that's definitely going to help them accelerate towards the circle. But for now, they are going to be in that difficult spot here. You can see that there's not a lot of peaking here going on for Battle Arena elites. They want to wait until there's more exposure there from uh, some of the players there before they start to expose themselves. But looks like Dankirk here going to clean up. Looks like Kenny here is going to get taken down as he's still trying to get in from the blue here after taking down the rest of uh, Oini Esports. And currently it's uh, looking a little congested here. There's a loot crate right in the center on the roadside here. And now looks like Aventure here starting to put pressure now on to Frostfire. Now they do still have the Battle Arena Elite guys here. As currently they're not inside the zone, but they're just in a little bit of a crossfire here. Crossfire getting uh, Adol taken down there. NJRX going to get the nice headshot on the Mini-14. Now Teddy just going to have to heal up a little bit here. As he, he's getting caught out just a little bit. KMF1 again the last player left alive here for Gold Army Factory. Looks like Adol not able to go the distance here. But Battle Arena leads here. Uh, going to be a little bit in a difficult spot here after being on the inside. They are now going to be in a good position here, but looks like uh, the venture here is going to be under a lot of pressure here. They have Rain's there and Afam getting taken down here. Teddy and the rest of Crossfire just trying to shoot just over the hill here, trying to see whether the bullet drop is going to be enough to try and drag the bullets down there. But looks like Teddy here not having enough elevation here to try and secure those shots. But Gaventure here not in a good spot. V8 Battle Arena at least forced to kind of stay in this position while they wait for things to develop a little bit more. Vengeance here going to still have a little bit of that compound available to them. But Gang FTY currently still has a 2-1 split going on. They, uh, and uh, we just got this whole road right down the middle of this circle here. So just really not making things all that easy here. And now Loki's going to hang back a little bit here as uh, Batman and Sophia are going to be making their way inside the circle here. Just getting a little bit inside it. that's uh, just going to help them avoid taking too much fire from the rest of the teams. And just not a lot of cover of it, excuse me, available for everyone here. Now Chill Rex and Rain's Era going to still be here on the high ground, but the blue zone is on the move. Lokis and the rest of uh, um, Battle Arena at least spread out in this uh, area here, but now things are getting very congested here for Gang FDY as currently Fizzerick Esports moving in here but looks like they're doing them a favor they're actually they took down Loki's there from Battle Arena Elites here as he was moving down from the high ground and um, now they are starting to get inside the zone here but Gang FDY going to start putting pressure onto Gaventure right now as they're running out in the open here and it looks like Alan's going to finish off or steal the kill there from Sophia on Chill Rex and now Rain Zara also getting knocked down and JRX going to be the last player left up here for Gaventure right now and Gang FTY is still having this position, but there's a whole Fisrick Esports hanging out right to their northern side here. And that could be a little bit or awkward, but it looks like Fisrick Esports here having their attention totally on to the Vengeance players right now on that western side here. Looks like Rain's Air going to be bleeding out here. Another kill going to Frostfire. They're having uh, a good round here for the time being, but Dankirk now finally realizing the threat that's coming on here as uh, Alex also moving out to the side here to see whether he can, uh, he can get a better position and it looks like Hickey gonna get taken down there by Mune so a little bit of third party action there helping him out and KM gets taken down there but not before he gets that nice nade inside there Alex gets taken down here but there's only 11 Nana left here for Physrix Gaming and uh, uh, Physrix Esports and he's gonna have to see what he can do but Dankirk is gonna finish him off five kills for him already here and Gang FTY finishes off Physrix Esports right now and they still have M0 alive here all by himself and looks like Frostfire here starting to take the toll here four kills already for Revax as uh, he looks to try and manage uh, or um, uh, reach his kill total that he got from round number one but he's gonna have to do it alone here as the rest of his teammates just getting 
caught in too much of a crossfire there, moving into that position. Sophia and Batman still alive here for Battle Arena Elites. And now look at this circle. It is absolutely terrible for everyone. <laughs> and uh, I guess it's going to be definitely good for every one of us here, as long as you're a neutral viewer, um, that is. Otherwise, you might get a little bit antsy here, biting the nails. But it looks like the Sophia and Batman are still going to be over the side here. M0 opting to come over towards this edge here and see whether or not he can meet up with the rest of his teammates. So there, Alan's taking quite a few hits there from Alan Lembu as he's raining down with that SKS. Not able to land many more connections there for the time being, but uh, I think Battle Arena Elites will have to see how they can do. They are going to have to fend off this push here as Gang FTY definitely going to want to move in here. They do want to try and finish off this fight as fast as they can. Savior currently lying prone here and uh, going to be waiting to see whether or not these uh, Vengeance players are going to be moving in front of him here before he starts to make his move. Currently this, this big slope here, this ditch, which is just not good for everyone but uh, battle arena elite's gonna be moving up over the side here Sophia taking down m0 Denker coming up over the top here and taking quite a bit of hits uh, in his direction but he's still up there with full hp Dankirk and alan's moving in here it's now a two on two battle here but looks like the nade is good and uh, time just to perfection there as Danker picks up another knock there and now Sophia, under a lot of pressure, is going to get taken down there. Danker picking up another two kills, seven kills in this game here. And now he's going to move onwards here. Allen's here. I don't think that he's going to be safe. The blue zone is on the way here for the time being. Now Danker just going to use up his grenades. Revac's going to hide out for the time being. And now it looks like Vengeance here moving in from the side. I think that, I'm not sure what happened there. I think Xavier was able to get a kill onto one of them here is uh, he's started to reveal his position for the time being and now he might have view of vengeance right now but he knows that Crossfire is going to be on the other side there as well so it was looking very difficult here if uh, Revax actually pops up here and which he is doing now he's going to pick up the kill and he gets five here in this game so according to the game it's a rampage so he's on a rampage and uh, for now, there's only going to be four players left alive here. Danker does have that high ground right now. But Revax is going to have a little bit of cover with the tree. Mune and um, J Muse here are going to be fully aware of the potential locations right now. Revax, oh, I'm not sure if he can be visible right there. But uh, Danker not able to see the nades coming out there. And it looks like uh, Mune here is going to land a lot of shots there. Five kills here in this game. And now it's a two-on-one situation. Revax here coming down the side. But he's able to take him down and 10 kills here for Frostfire. So they're matching, they're almost matching their kill total. And now it's a one on one situation. He's going to be able to get the heal off Mune. Going to try and move in from the low ground. Currently, Revax does have the circle here. And he's going to try to do what he can. But a lot of nades coming in Revax's direction here. As Mune just tossing them all out here. Just try and see whether or not he can get lucky and um, bring this to a close but looks like Revex here going to move around the side but Mune is going to be hearing all of this movement here I don't know what Revex can do oh he's sticking too many hits here but looks like he comes out on top there is Mune not able to put the finishing touches there and Frostfire wins two rounds in a row and Revex there going to be the hero there in that one on two situation at the expense of vengeance here as he gets Seven kills here in this game, so increasing his kill total from the, the previous round by one there. And Teddy going to follow up with two, but he was all by himself there and he's able to come out on, um, on top, beating all the other teams there, waiting for the right time to open up and take down the, the respective sides there. And in second place, we do have Team Vengeance coming in second yet again here in round uh, for two rounds in a row here. So no changes in the top two there. Munich getting five kills there and Alan Lembu chipping in with two himself. And in third place, Gang FTY after going out last in round number one, they managed to get into that third spot there. And Danker really on fire here, getting seven kills, matching the, the Revax's total there. As uh, Gang FTY, unfortunately, not able to do better uh, than that, but they still managed to jump right in there into the thick of things here. And um, they do better on Miramar as well. So that pretty much does show here as Geek Fam here is going to get in fourth place. Excellent play coming out from Kenny. A little bit earlier on, we did see him take down the whole of ONE. Unfortunately, wasn't able to see him backstab them, but that was a very nice bit of work there. Xavier also 
playing a very solo game there as he was uh, moving in very late. He did take out two, two of the players there from Minum Kopi Jab and he moved all the way around to the other side and uh, was still able to take down uh, one of the Vengeance players as well before he get got taken out by Revex. And in fifth place, it is going to be Battle Arena Elite. So Battle Arena Elite um, able to get into the top five here. Sophia going to lead the way with three kills. So guys, that's going to be it here for round number two. So we will be taking a short break and moving back to Erangale for round number three. Uh, so thank you so much for all the shares and likes. Much appreciated. And uh, we'll be taking that short break and we'll see you in just a little bit.